bootstrap car? Is it a bootstrap? A tailgate? Um, an aft screen? Or what's that? A bonnet? A bonnet lid? Shit! Um, what is it? What is the name? With a hinged rear window of an estate or hatchback car? Bootstrap tailgate? Aft screen? Whatever the hell that is? Or bonnet lid? Well, it ain't a bonnet lid, obviously. Oh, I've never heard of it called any of the other three. What the bloody hell is the answer on that one? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got a bloody clue. Um, I'll go 50-50. Well, that's shit, innit? Second question, I'm stumped. <laughs> What's he left me with? He's left me with bootstrap and tailgate. Well, it ain't going to be tailgate because tailgate's a term for someone who's following too closely, so it's going to have to be bootstrap, but that don't make no bloody sense either. Well, oh, go on, we'll go with it. Oh, you're joking, it's tailgate. It ain't a piss now. <laughs> God! That's a major fail. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely terrible. We've still got time, so I'm determined to get a decent bloody score. Oh, I can't believe it. That was a crap question, that was. Right, oh, okay, question number one. What name is given to a factory where employees work long hours in poor conditions? Sweatshop? Perspire shop? Perspire store, even? Uh, sweater market or drip mark? Well, that's going to be a sweatshop. Temperament of bloody touch screen. Okay, what is the usual name for flower which is not self raising? Plain, straight, dull, flat. Well, that's going to be plain. Well hey! Question number three. As part of its preparation, which of these food items is normally need <coughs> excuse me, is normally needed? Soup, rice, bread or gravy? Uh, well, we all know that guys, it's gotta be bread, isn't it? You only need dough. That's the right answer. Well of course done. it's the right answer. Uh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be lucky to get this one right. According to the Bible, what was the source of Samson's strength? Oh, actually, no, that's all right. I just saw Bible and thought, oh shit, I ain't got a hope. Uh, <laughs> right, his hair, his robe, his teeth, his toenails. Well, as far as I can remember, Samson's strength came from his hair. Well done, Right, okay. What would you be most likely to do with a taffeta? No idea. Eat it, drink it, hit it, wear it. I haven't got one. I don't even know what that is. Um, I don't think you eat or drink it. So it's hit it or wear it, and I'd probably go with wear it. Uh, oh, shit, I don't know the answer to this one, guys. Uh, <laughs> I hope somebody does. I'll go 50-50. Drink it and wear it. Well, I'm gonna go with wear it. So don't think I don't know what the hell a taffeta is. Uh, well, I found out I'll be now I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Got the right answer. Hey, <laughs> no one at all. Okay, which of his former clubs? Did the footballer Bobby Fowler rejoin in January 2006? Now I know jack shit about football, but I have heard of Bobby Fowler, so I might be alright. 
Uh, okay, it says Leicester City, Leeds United, Liverpool, Leighton Orient, and my instinct is Liverpool. But as I don't know nothing about football, it's a complete yes, and I think it's Liverpool. Uh, I'm pretty much 90% on that, so I'm just going to go for it. I can't tell you that the answer you gave me was the right one. Oh, thank God. Bloody <laughs> hell. Okay, for four thousand pounds, how is the writer James Fenimore Cooper's hero Natty? What the hell? Bumpo is that Natty Bumpo? God knows, better known. Uh, what's that? Fucking eye? There you go. There you go. <laughs> 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 the uh, fucking eye. There you go. <laughs> Kestrelite or Hawkeye? Um, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh shit. Um, I don't know. I'll go with Hawkeye. I think on that one. Is that your final answer? I'll make it my final answer. You had two thousand pounds. Oh my God! It was only right. <laughs> What a brilliant guess. Question number eight is worth eight thousand pounds. Take your time and make sure you give me the correct one. Okay, for what are we going for? Eight thousand pounds. For eight thousand pounds, which newspaper was promoted with the slogan All Human Life is There? The Daily Mirror, News of the World, Daily Mail, Daily Express. Oh, I don't read newspapers, so I'm a bit screwed. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Um, right, all human life is there. We ain't the news of the world. Pretty certainly ain't the Daily Mirror. Don't read. I've never read the Daily Mail. I think it's crap. Uh, and then there's the Daily Express. I'm trying to think. I've never seen that tagline on any paper. And I'm pretty certain when I've seen the Daily Mail, it's not had it written on it. So I'm going to probably think it's Daily Express. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ask the audience on that one. They'll probably all go D now. Right, audience, we need your help. Grab hold of the keypad and get ready to vote now. Yep, yeah, they're all going D. I thought it might be down the Express. There you go. It's pretty close on the other three as well. I have a feeling that might be a tight one. They are favouring D, but only just. Alright, I'll go with Daily Express. That's my instinct. And that's what the audience thinks, so why not? Oh, are you joking? News of the World, really? I've never seen that on News of the World. Oh, well, I've learned something. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, right, guys, anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting and different for this week's Saturday Night Special. Uh, yeah, it's, that's not much a change, anyways. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you all again next week.